I think that the main challenge for our just nowadays is to improve their adherence to the treatment. Uh, many patients did not reach the goals for blood glucose control, lipid control, and systolic blood pressure control worldwide. And these patients are, the, are at the increasing, increasing risk to develop diabetes-related complications. You know that diabetes nowadays is one of the most expensive diseases worldwide. It costs more than one billion dollars in, in United States and Canada, and uh, the cost is mainly related to the diabetes complication. So how to improve uh, the adherence, how to improve the way of the patients uh, understand that they need to treat their diabetes so well? That's a big challenge. I think that genetic area could help us to, to give a more individualized treatment for the uh, patients. Uh, to understand how inside the cells are going the process of diabetes complications. So you can use this data to improve the care specifically for each patient. So I think that will be a very nice area for the next, not year, next 10, 20 years, 20 years. I saw very nice lectures uh, about uh, pathogenesis of diabetes, type 1, type 2 diabetes, and about weight control. For me, it's very important also how to, to get the patients under weight control. That's very difficult in routine clinical practice. So I saw, I saw some paper, some lectures about physical activity. That's very important, how to improve, not exercise, leisurely physical activity to improve the outcomes of diabetes. So I think for me, it, it was a very nice meeting. Mm -hmm.